What's up, everybody? If you guys are interested in financial freedom, I've got the course for you. It's the Millionaire Mentorship Course, coached by yours truly, your mentor, Troy Kearns, and I will help you achieve financial freedom through the power of real estate. If you are interested in scheduling a strategy call, click the link below and we will get you scheduled and change your life and get you to financial freedom. What's up everybody, it's Troy Kearns. I wanted to talk today about why it's so hard to get started investing in real estate. So I'm gonna break down why most people fail when they start investing and what you need to look out for when you become a new investor investing in real estate. So let's get into it. All right, before we get into it, I'd like to ask you if you are new to this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you are a subscriber already, thank you so much. Make sure that you guys comment, make sure you ask questions and make sure that you get started investing in real estate. It's changed my life. In this video right here, we're gonna talk about why most people have a problem when they start investing in real estate, right? So the first reason that most people have a problem when they start investing in real estate is because they quit in their head before they even start. They come up with all the excuses of why they're not gonna be successful versus of focusing on why they would be successful. They'd start having that soundtrack in their brain like, well, I can't do this, I can't do that, I can't do this thing, I can't do the other thing, and they just beat themselves up so they never start, right? They're just constantly learning, they're binge watching YouTube videos, they're learning everything, but they're never taking any action because their mindset is wrong, right? We always talk about mindset and how important it is. And if your brain, and we all have this, this is just human nature, but if your brain is telling you, you know what, you're not gonna be successful at something, guess what, you're not. So you have to change your soundtrack in your head and start giving yourself positive thoughts of why you will be successful. Man, if Troy Kearns, a 1.8 GPA student from Issaquah, Washington, who barely graduated from middle school, you know, it can be successful in real estate, then why the hell can't I? Of course you can. You can do anything you want and then some, all you gotta do is put your mind to it and take action. But a lot of times that ineffective ability to take action or start stops people from even starting. That's the number one reason why most people are not successful in real estate investing is because they just don't show freaking up, right? They don't show up, so they're not gonna be successful, right? They're talking about it. They're talking to everybody about, yo, I'm, once I get this, I'm thinking about doing that. I'm thinking about doing this. I'm thinking about doing that. They don't do squat, and guess what? They never get started. They just keep talking. They keep fearing in the air, and eventually, we just know them as hacks. I know plenty of guys like that. I know plenty of women like that. I know plenty of people who just keep talking to me about what they're gonna do, and they never do anything, right? And what that tells me is they're just ineffective in taking action. I actually have good friends of mine who always talk to me about real estate investing. They're one, some of the most successful people that I know as realtors, but they're so conditioned by what they do every day by seeing like investors fail and this guy fail and that guy fail that they just say, you know what, I can't do it. In fact, one of my good friends called me the other day and he said, Troy, I have identified that I'm never going to invest in real estate and I'd rather just invest with you. And I was like, that's cool, we can do that. So, all right, that's the number one reason why most people fail. All right, number two, why do most people fail at real estate investing? They don't do the math. Right? That's why I failed in my first endeavor. I didn't do the math, right? I was like, okay. They get enamored by the details, right? Like you're like, oh, well, it, I heard from my cousin. This is, you know, we'll talk about my first failures as a real estate investor. I heard from my cousin that the market in Las Vegas is going up crazy. And if I buy this house and it loses a thousand dollars a month, who cares? Cause it's going up like crazy. And when I sell it, I'm gonna be a gazillionaire and they hear what they wanna hear and they just don't do the math. Now, if I had actually taken a YouTube course or gone and took a look at this video and said, man, let's watch what Troy Kearns is talking about, then guess what? I would have made the investments that Troy Kearns made. So what they do is they fail to do the math. They just get in, they take action, which is great. They take action and they realize, holy crap, and they fail and then they go, you know what? I don't wanna do that again and I'm never gonna start that again and I'm over with it, right? So. They fail because they don't do the math and then they don't pick themselves back up and start over again. They don't learn from their mistakes. They just say, you know what, I'm done. I wasn't meant to do that. It's not the thing for me. I'm out of it altogether, right? So why is it important to do the math? Well, let's talk about my first real estate investment that went haywire so you can understand what I'm talking about. So just so happens that I have this property in contract. You guys can look it up. It's 8,600 West Charleston Boulevard on the market in contract for I think $235,000. 
I paid for that property 17 years ago, 184,000. I have been losing several hundred dollars per month for the last 17 years, right? Guess what happened? I didn't do the freaking math, right? I did not do the math. But what I did learn is from my mistakes that guess what? That was a bad purchase. I gotta ride that thing out, wait for the market to recover, which it did 17 years later, right? And then what I need to do is do the math of the next one and make up for that loss and pick myself up and realize what have I learned from this terrible mistake that cost me 17 years to get out of? Well, I learned that I only buy assets that have the potential to produce income, right? I don't say I only buy assets that produce income because I still buy assets that don't produce income. The fact of that matter is that that property would have never cash flowed no matter what I did. Unless I was able to rent out like 100 people in that condo, it wouldn't have cash flowed. So my whole point to you is do the math. And if you don't do the math and you fail, don't quit, right? And that goes directly into number three, they quit. When the going gets tough, most newbie real estate investors, they just quit. They hang it up, they say, you know what? It wasn't for me, I wasn't meant to do this. They give all the reasons why, you know what? This is my first time doing this. I made some mistakes, you know? The sooner that you can learn that failing is part of learning, then you can embrace it. Like, and I know this might sound odd to you because when people first started talking about it to me, it sounded completely crazy to me. But what I wanna tell you is if you can fail forward fast, you will learn a ton, right? Let's talk about that. So I have a towing business and I'll do a video on it later. I just, I just shut it down. Thank you, state of Nevada. Um, so I failed in that business, but the problem was I failed slowly right? Because I fought it out. Taught me a ton about how to make more money. So if you look at it that way, I've actually made money because of that business, but I failed as the business owner in that business, right? I didn't lose money, but what I did is I lost time, right? Because I was fighting and learning and doing all this stuff and I just couldn't let go a couple years earlier. And then I, if I would have let go a couple years earlier, I would have learned more and been out of the situation. It's important to understand that even though not quitting is a good quality, knowing when to quit is a better quality, right? Knowing when to cut bait is a better one. So the main thing, that reason that people fail though, is they quit too early, right? They say, you know what? The trail's getting crazy right now. I need to get off and let's just go and I'm never coming back, right? So they quit too early and they make excuses and they just never get back in the game, right? That's the reason that a lot of people fail when it comes to real estate investing. And last but not least, the reason that most people fail at real estate investing is they don't do enough, right? They just plain do not do enough. They do one deal. It's a super scarcity mindset deal. They get in the deal. It's not a good deal. They don't like the deal and they're barely in the deal. They're not committed to it. They're not learning anything else and they're just not committed. They're not obsessed about it and they're just halfway in. You gotta be all the way in. When you're investing in real estate, you have to be all the way in. You gotta be obsessed to be better at something, right? If you're good at something, if you're good at golf, if you're good at, um, you know, playing ping pong, if you're good at Pinterest, if you're good at Amazon, if you're good at something, it's because of repetition. If you're a good weightlifter, it's because you weightlift it. If you're good at yoga, it's because you go to yoga all the time. But it's the same thing with real estate. If you want to be good, you have to be obsessed with something, right? You have to be binge watching the Troy Kearns channel on YouTube. So make sure you subscribe and smash the like button right now. You have to be sharing this video with a friend so that all your friends know that you're super excited about real estate investing. In fact, if you go to a party with me ever, if you're ever with me anywhere, you're gonna say, this guy's talking about investing in real estate all the freaking time. So you gotta be obsessed. Be obsessed, be great, get started investing in real estate, and we'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.